Hi again, everyone. In this week's pre-lab lecture, we're going to talk about topographic maps. Now, we know maps have been used since at least 2300 BCE. This was the very beginning of the Bronze Age. It makes sense that they were using maps back then because maps give us a lot of information about the area around us. And this was a time of exploration and discovery. But there is so much information about the world around us that it could not possibly fit onto any one map. So maps are specialized. They give you very specific information. This thematic map is really good at giving us quick information about state population, while unneeded information such as locations of major rivers are left out. Topographic maps show us the lay of the land. By looking at a topographic map, you can tell if an area has steep slopes or is generally flat. You can determine the direction of rivers are flowing or if the location of many natural and man-made features. You can also determine the aspect or the direction of the slope is facing of a hill or a mountain. We'll look at an example of a topographic map in a minute, but first we have to backtrack just a bit. When we're looking at a map or a globe, we notice the imaginary lines of latitude and longitude. Now, many of us have heard, if not all of us, of latitude and longitude, um, but we're gonna go ahead and recap really quickly. The latitude lines run horizontal around the Earth. They begin at zero degrees at the equator and have a north or south designation. Lines of longitude run vertically through the poles. Lines of, lo of longitude begin at zero degrees at the prime meridian and have designations of east and west. Now, lines of latitude and longitude are broken down into degrees, minutes, and seconds in order to pinpoint a specific location. For example, the Utica MVCC campus location is at 43 degrees, seven minutes, 70 seconds north, 75 degrees, 21 minutes, 82 seconds west. Check out page 38 in your lab manual for more information on this. Another important map datum is the scale. The scale tells us the proportion between length on the map and a length on the ground. It's displayed as a ratio such as one in 30,000. Now notice, this is a unitless measurement, which means that we can put any unit in there as long as it's the same unit on each side. It would be true that one inch on the map equals 30,000 inches on the ground. One foot on the map equals 30,000 feet on the ground. Even one banana on the map equals, you guessed it, 30,000 bananas on the ground. Okay, so now you know a little bit about maps. In video two, we'll look at how to read a topographic map.